Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you are looking to generate portraits like these just from text with the help of AI model locally and all for free, then you need to have a look at this new model called as AW Portrait FL. In this video, we are going to install this model locally and then we will try to generate the portraits like which I just showed you just from text prompts. Let's have a look at what exactly this model is and why it is gaining so much popularity out there. This model AW Portrait FL is fine tuned on Flux 1Dev using the training set of AW Portrait XL and ne nearly 2000 fashion photography photos with extremely high aesthetic quality. If you don't know what Flux model is, I already have covered flux model in detail from different angles all of its variants on my channel just, just search with flux or flux.1 and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it in my opinion at the moment if not the best flux models are one of the best model when it comes to text to image generation and that is why the quality of this new aw portrait fl shines through from the examples which they have shared on the model card. I will also drop the link to it in video's description. You can also use it um, just through API or test it out on Shaker AI, which is a company behind it. Okay, enough talk. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Let me take you to my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu. And let me CD out of it. And then let me also show you my GPU card. Courtesy Mast Compute, I'm running NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I would highly suggest that you should have at least 24 GB of VRAM or above in order to get this working properly. Okay, let me clear the screen. Next up, let me create a virtual environment with Conda. I'm just calling it PO for portrait. Let's wait for it to get activated. So my Conda environment is created. Let me install all the prerequisites which include a lot of stuff like Torch, Torch VN, Pillow, Transformers. Let's wait for it to get installed. And this is going to take a bit of a time, so let's wait for it to finish. Meanwhile, let me give you a very quick uh, point on Flux 1 Dev. It is a 12 billion parameter rectified flow transformer capable of generating images from text description. It has a real cutting edge output quality, second only to their Flux 1 Pro model very competitive prompt following and you can even train it um, on your own as they have done fine tuning and the original model has been trained using guidance distillation which has made it more efficient so i would highly suggest that if you're into text to image generation if you haven't tried flux models i would highly highly recommend them okay so let's wait for this thing to get finished installing all the prerequisites are done. Now let me install and launch my Jupyter Notebook so that we could play around with this in browser environment. Let's wait for it to get launched. And our Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let me import the libraries and get the model. Also note that we now have Flux pipeline from Diffuser. So such is the popularity of model that they have even created a module just for uh, within their library how good is that okay so let me import and download the model and the model has started downloading let's wait for it to finish this is going to take a bit of a time and then it is going to load it on to our gpu as you can see there are a lot of stuff which is being downloaded hopefully it is going to fit on my gpu it is based on flux one dev and flux one dev runs fine on 48 gb of vram so hopefully this will be okay let's wait for it to finish downloading and the model is downloaded and loaded onto our gpu that is good and there is some detail around it okay let's try to do the inference which means that let's try to generate the prompt let me show you the prompt uh, by breaking it down 
So in this prompt, we are just asking it to do the close-up portrait and we are asking it that amidst the interplay of light and shadows in a photography studio a soft spotlight traces the contours of a face highlighting a figure clad in a sleek black turtleneck. The garment hugging the skin with subtle luxury complements the Caucasian model's understated, understated makeup embodying minimalist elegance behind a pale grey backdrop extend its fine texture shimmering subtly in the dim light artfully balancing the composition and focusing attention on the subject in a palette of black gray and skin tones simplicity intertwines with profundity as every detail whispers untold stories so let me run it so it is running at the moment it's the pipeline as you can see number of inference tab and there is some image detail and then we are saving it so let's wait for it to finish and then we can ex display that portrait with ipython and there you go can you believe that turtleneck and a caucasian model look at the shadows contours look so real looks so so real amazing stuff okay let's try out few other prompts and it has cut down some of the prompt but that is fine we'll just still give it as much as we like so let me try to change this and give another prompt next up i have shortened the prompt and i'm asking it to do a close-up portrait of a refined gentleman with silver hair wearing a tailored black tuxedo elegant backdrop so let me run it and see how it goes let's go up it is generating it and then it is going to display it too and you can see the speed is also quite good i'm very impressed by it just in a jiffy just goes through it and i will let it this one run so that we could see it together there you go how good is that silver hair quite elegant and there is your tuxedo okay, i'll just delete the other one how good is that look at that amazing amazing stuff this is out of this world okay let, let's try out another one next up i'm doing a portrait of pakistani poet alama iqbal face supported by palm deep in reflection showcasing his wisdom and intellectualism so let's see what it gives us there you go okay that is interesting yeah but look at the quality of the image this is simply out of this world amazing next up i'm asking it to do a close-up portrait of majestic lion's face regal mane framing wise golden eyes soft sunlight accentuating subtle whiskers and textured fur so let's see what it comes up with oh wow looks already elegant amazing amazing stuff look at that it's really regal look at the eyes even look at this thing just below the eye on the right hand side this is simply crazy really in the next one i'm asking it to do a close-up portrait of a classic hollywood actress styled in old hollywood glamour so let's see and there you go so let's see together wow this is really amazing stuff <clears throat> you know it looks so retro and so elegant amazing stuff look at the shadow on the right hand side this is really good so in the next one, I'm asking it to do a close-up portrait of a freckled, red-haired woman with delicate features, soft smile. Let's go down. There you go. Look at the freckles at the face. Amazing stuff. Very, very well-formed images. Very well-formed. Great stuff. Okay, let's try out another one. Just going to remove this. And now, let me fix the problem. In this one, I'm asking it to do a softly lit portrait of an Indian girl with porcelain skin wearing, wearing elegant sari, which is an Indian dress, subtle bindi and delicate earrings. Let's see how it goes. And there you go. Let's see. Yep, bindi doesn't look good to me, but the other features are quite good. Okay, that is cool. I think that is... Uh, that is okay i would say okay let's try out another one in this one i'm just going to go with some african culture the regal portrait of an african woman with striking features 
adorned with colorful beads, vibrant Ankara fabric. So let's see. Okay, let's look at this one. This is really good. Very, very well done. It's a very traditional dress. Beads are there. Everything has been followed quite well. Very well done. Okay, let's try to do the fusion of the old and new. Now in this one, I'm asking you to do a portrait of Cleopatra in cyberpunk attire and ancient Egypt meets neon futurism. Let's see how it goes. And there you go. Let's see what it has done here. Okay, that is very interesting. That is Cleopatra. Looks good. Well done. Okay, let's try out another one. And finally, let's try out this one. Extreme close-up of a majestic dragon's face. Scales glistening, eyes blazing, fiery breath erupting from open mouth, flames dancing across surrounding environment. So it should be done. Let's see how it goes. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this detail. Amazing. This is crazy. This is crazy. And of course, it all depends upon your prompt. But with this such a small prompt, look at the quality of it. Amazing stuff. Now let me check if it is a censored or uncensored one. Of course, I'm not going to show you. Let me test. I will just report back. So you've tested it. Well, I would say it depends upon your prompt, how creative you can be. But if you are just going nominal, it's it's okay. It is 50% censored, 50% not. So, but other than that, you can already imagine how good this AW portrait FL is. Really, the quality of flux models shine through so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this model and what you are generating if you like the content do me a favor and share it among your network and please also subscribe and if you're already subscribed as i requested please share it thanks for watching